What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy Look Around with LMD Trading, and we are back. We are back with another daily trade review. Reviewing trades for another green day. Small green day, as you can see from the thumbnail, it was a 1R day. And I had people ask, like, what is 1R? What does that even mean? An R is my risk level. And right now I am risking $50 per trade. So I'm risking $50 per trade to make $100. So that's two R. So if I say I made one R, then it just means that I made $50 today. Yesterday was a two R day. I made $100. And that, that makes it easy whenever you start scaling up on the risk side of it. Um, so if my risk level was a hundred dollars per trade and I made one R then it's just easy. You know, I would have made a hundred dollars. So that's all that means. Um, keeps everything relative because somebody could say that they made, let's say somebody like Jared Wesley, he's risking maybe a thousand dollars per trade. So if he says that he made two R, then he just made $2,000. So it just makes it relative to everybody as far as that R level goes, puts you on an even playing field. But decent day in the market today. We were patient. We didn't take our first trade until 9.43 this morning, but we still took a bad trade. And as you can see on the ticker, um, S Black, we lost 56 bucks on that one today. That was two. We actually took two trades, one flat, one bad. Um, CGNX went to target. Perfect trade. And then TCOM was one of those late morning trades that, that we ended up getting out flat on. But let's go ahead. Let's bring up Trader View real quick. Let's run through these. And I actually have, I have it on video again today. But reviewing trades, Tuesday, September 20th. Four trades, close PL 45. So we were just a little less than one R. Little less than one R. S Black. Take a peek at it real quick. This should have been a good trade. In the video, you'll see that I wanted to get in right there. This thing popped. I chased it and then got out flat and then it rolled over kept on going first trade was not a bad trade now this one was a bad trade this one was a very bad trade look at where we were getting in at when this didn't set a new high when this like didn't come up and set a new high and then get in no buying right there is terrible Cause you don't really know if this thing is going to push higher and we got in and it just rolled over never went in our favor and in the video i think i'm gonna kind of speak to that like i kind of knew that was a bad trade cg and x man nice 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 trade here this was one that we found on the previous hive day scanner that'll be shown in the video as well and then tcom this was our late afternoon one. Didn't take a full size on it. Almost same way as CNGX chart was as it broke that area, came up, pulled back, stopped out, break even. Um, very small size on this one. Very small size. And that was it. But let's go ahead, get the video pulled up. And we're going to get it started. Market has not opened yet. This is 922. I do, I'm doing a little, just a little prep. So I figured we're going to run that through real quick. And then we'll get to the videos. So what I'm going to do here, usually my watch list are all right here. Ready to roll. Go ahead. So I'm going to actually pull this watch list off of here and then put it on my big screen on my yeah my main screen so just wanted to to show 
me doing that. Let me kind of scroll through though. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead. Let's change this over to changing it to my day five day. See, these are on here. This is all gonna change. So that it will populate that list before the market opens. Pops open. But once the market opens, then it starts populating it with good information. This. And now I'm just taking that watch list and dragging it so that it's right there in front of me. So now you see it down there. We'll be able to see as they're hitting it, and I'm gonna sort it by percent gainers so you'll see when the market opens that's all going flush out yep so let's change that to and then i didn't click the little pin on there so hit this pin so then that that pins it so that it doesn't move if i click something now behind we're just it looking to see this market change so I'm go ahead and speed it up that market is open everything is pulling back had a fairly full watch list today. Taking it slow, taking it slow. Let's go back and look at this. Man. So the um, thumbnail watch list wasn't really showing anything. So like I said, usually when it's not showing anything, that's when I'll be scrolling through the previous high of day watch list. And in the past, you'll kind of see me just scrolling through some random stocks that's why i'm scrolling through them because they're on that scanner Just right there time. so let's speed it up kind of peek boot over just that open not really showing that you see that one just kind of ran so would either be looking for a two minute three bar play or a five minute Sands, Sands, I missed a lot of opportunities on Sands today, but they weren't really clean yeah. trades. Eh, I won't say that. We'll see them when they when they take place or when they form. This one here, I was hoping that this. Hoping that this would have kept a good. Yeah. See. Bottom and tail. Yep. yep. I was hoping that the that the bottom and tail stayed up there to make that a pretty good trade, but just didn't happen. Speed it up. So nothing there, nothing there. Yeah, you see Sands is on that watch list. PDD just popped. And that's the good thing about this. It's only gonna show you stocks that are above the previous high of day. So they, um, yeah, look at BP. That's BP is on here, right there. but it's because it gapped down or right, gapped watch, up watch. and then it's going down. Man, I looked at that one on the chart today. That was a good three bar play to the bottom side. So this one here as black and this was our first trade of the morning. I was looking for this to kind of consolidate right around the 50. And then, but you come up and you look at the five, it was setting up for a, a little three bar play. Speed it up. Still looking decent on the five. Still kind of holding right around the 50. Go ahead. Uh, let me back it up. I want y'all to see the initial order that I had in. So these candles, see that candle was like 15. Look how much room I gave it. And see in the time that I went to take that order out and put a new order in. Watch what happens. Like so I got my stop size. Now I got to get my share size. Cancel that out. Put that order in. Off the five minutes. 
and it's really not off the five because that candle hadn't closed yet. We still have three minutes. So had that triggered, it wouldn't have been off of the five. Let's check this out real quick. Wait, look at P -time. Look at P -time. All of this junk to the left. PDD is just running. Only real entries are gonna be right here would have been an excellent entry. That would have been a good entry had we caught that one quick enough. Because it's clearing all of the junk to the left. Need a real pullback. So watch that go. Faba, these tails here kind of was uh, like, nah. And then if you look up here, still, so still gonna keep that border in. Let's go back real quick. I'm gonna That's take black. a peek at um that HB. Don't want to take those. Need a real pullback. So I'm gonna watch that go. Let's see where's HB. Baba. Baba, see, I just said those it's nice little flag there. So still gonna... There it is. Uh, nope. Look to the left. Look to the left. Over here, it looks good, doesn't it? Nice bottom and tail. So it looks good here. But then you look to the left and look at all of that junk that it has to fight through. So there's too many other stocks out there that are going to give a better look. See how it just keeps dropping new ideas on here. And then let's go back to that BP one real quick. Yep. Look at BP had stop there, target here. This thing then already gave you two R to the downside in that candle right there. Almost could have took it off the pre-market, getting in right there with the stop up there. Easily two R because this is gonna drop. I won't say it is, it should drop to the lower that candle. And look where that first candle came to right there to the low of it so that would have been a good one but this wasn't even on the radar it just came up on the previous high of day radar everything's selling off was looking at this one but just this wasn't giving a good picture this need to get above 610 and that's where the patience is coming in that i'm learning and just giving a view of that is my thumbnail watch list. So you see the order still sitting in for S Black. I end up taking this order out too. But look at Sands sold off. So this is what I am looking at to find my ideas. It's kind of holding. So basically, I could look at the market, and then I could look at a stock and see what it was doing. I didn't have any stocks that was truly trading with the market on there. I'm still just watching it. Go ahead, scroll. We um got a few minutes. So see now this one had gotten this had gotten interesting to me. Jared had on his list. Yeah, Jared Wesley over at Live Traders had this on his list to go long today, and I couldn't really see it. So I was seeing maybe maybe if I saw something I didn't see. But this was one I was looking at to hold this area. It's over all of that junk. I'm looking for it to hold this area and continue higher. And it failed. Failed miserably. It's all the way back down. Yep, so nothing there. Let's speed it up. Back yeah, it up. It dropped below where yeah. my stop was set, so. Yep, so that made that trade invalid. So I got out. Now we'll look for a new entry if we can get it. I and B Z. What was the time on this? Holding on the two minute. Yeah. The ten cent stop. Ten cent. So now I'm looking for this to hold. But we're not going to get in until it gets above the high. 
just because I had that thought idea in my head, can't take the trade until the pattern forms. Same thing. 16, 15. And watch, it's just going to drop deck. immediately below. And this is something that I hadn't been doing. Putting my orders in there and then just keeping an eye on it. Yeah, just trying to figure out. But look here. Look at how that just left that nice bottom and tail. But didn't really have much volume down there. Look at the five. Hurry up. Boom. I told you. I knew I needed to hurry up on that. So now I'm chasing. Because I've missed my entry. Still a good stop. But. Not. Take IMBZ out of the system. It failed. Yep. Yeah, so, kind of chased that one. Missed. Where did we get in at? I don't remember what this high was right here. But I'm sure we missed probably three or four cent right there. And those cents matter. It may not seem like a lot, but three or four cents on. Five thousand or five hundred to a thousand shares. It makes a makes a good difference. Look how TCOM that thing it just failed. Laser, everything. So now I'm going back through the um, previous high day, just looking to see. Add iTub over here to the thumbnail watch list and look for pullback. Yeah. Can't find no entries here, so no need to chase it. But if we can get a pullback and then a buy setup to present itself, we good. Because all of the three bar play opportunities are missed. So there's nothing on here. We're going to speed this up. Actually, I'll drag it. Let it play out. Let's see, we're in S block still. Still like, I like this. It's just moving slow. Everything still looks good. It's like a decent stop. But like I said, had we had our stop where it was supposed to be, it's a good chance that this would have been a halfway decent trade. Just need to get above eight ninety five. Yeah, this one just didn't have enough room on that break. To there so I just couldn't didn't see didn't see a good trade on that one didn't take it but this did make a good move go ahead speed it up so tightening my stop up see it's it, it acting like it wants to go we were up oh, let's go up almost one hour IMBZ Failed. Uh -oh. I am busy. Failed to hold that area. So see, we were up almost one R. <clears throat> G O G L. And see, that was one we were just looking nice. at. Push right on through up to that next area. That jump. Let me see what that one did. G O G L. Man, G O G L ran all day today. It had a high of 914. So that was nice. It broke that 50. It broke this line. The 50 moving average made a nice move. Very nice move. And that was the thing. It just needed to get Should past this junk. Today too. Probably like the next. So let me go on and scroll this on up through. Oh. That's why I'm a firm believer it's for that break. So let me go back and watch that one. Man, See, look, look, look just came right up there to that. Nine of people buying it here for that break. Popped up there and then sold back off. And this is not a trade that I wouldn't have taken, but this is where you need to know your areas. Junk right here, man. Getting past all of that junk. That just patience there. 
and those sellers are just being patient enough to to let it do what it needs to do. Look at S Black look at selling off. That was fifteen cent stop. I so we needed 30, 30 cents. cents. Look at that. It just came short there. Yeah, so we would have needed this to go to 2036 had we got in where we were supposed to. So this came up five cents short. All the way back down to 50 moving average. So possibly could have maybe moved the stop up to, to one R had we got in where we were supposed to. Don't see nothing. I'm going to flow through this real quick. That might be it for me this morning. So going through. I just did all that talking about this stuff to the left, didn't I? It's fine. It's another small one, man. I don't like these little small ones with little five cent stops. But look at it. Go ahead, scroll through. Oh, look what's the next one. Even though this one might work, I'm not going to take it. Let's look at I tub. Let's see, I tub was giving that pullback that I was wanting it to give. That that's one cent. And that's why I did not take one it. One then penny. I would need five thousand shares. And it's probably gonna go, but it'll go without me. Yeah. Just don't like these little small caps. Look out! Look at how many buyers over there on the ladder. I just I don't like it. And see, it has to get over five forty one. Don't want to buy it below that because that's a ceiling. That's how you have to look at that. All of that volume is a ceiling. Now, if it breaks this, everything is failing. And get past forty three, it's off to the races. So I look at this more than I do this now. I look at that volume more than I look at these buyers and sellers. And see, it just failed off. Trying to buy if it broke this candle going higher. All right, we still have ten minutes. I'm gonna scroll this through. We're back looking at S Black. I'm gonna take this in about two minutes. Let's watch this one real quick. This is where I should have been getting in, playing it back to the VWAP. Don't see nothing. But watch what this thing does. So that was the LVS that I missed. When I said I missed a good trade, this held previous high of day, came up, set a higher low, with a bottom and tail. That's good. The guy next door had a jungle for the front and backyard. He hired somebody to cut it. I hear a dude over there battling. But look at that thing. That uh, thing of beauty. Only real area of concern was going to be VWAP. And it blazed right through it. We're back looking at. Um, let's look at this one and see. Because we took a trade right here get 10 cent back up to the high so this was not a good trade if you just heard me say i was trying to get 10 cent back up to here 15 cent stop so 15 cent stop and i only got 10 cents to get up to there so i got in a little late so yeah i'm gonna have my stop up a little high look where the stop is at the stop is where the entry should have been at. Yeah. Stop is where the entry should have been. Not, at. So not, when this didn't keep going to come up here to set a new high, this is done. This next candle needed to keep going need that way. Right there. We need Th this was done. Eight. And then we doubled down on it. And look where our stop is at. But watch what we do. Trying to bring it down to get it below the nine. And it's acting like we did a good thing, but nope. Come up here and look. We got a top and tail. 
this top and tails have been on and off because some of the stocks yesterday that we were trading or we were looking at had top and tails, but each candle after that would go higher. Boy, did we miss that. Look at that thing there, man. Getting in right there. Ever miss getting in right, right there, there and this thing is crushing and that's when it's all about looking at the right stocks because you can have them on your list but if you're not looking at them at the right time and you see we've stopped out of stop should have been we stopped out of s black right there i should have just shared up to put the stock there yeah look at look at sands just killing so now we come over and we find CNGX on the previous hive day. Yeah, I like this above that. A little bit of pickup right there. It's got one minute left on this candle. So I dropped my line there. Looking at this off the five. Buyers need to step back in. We give it a 50 cent stop. And initially it's not looking good. But look, watch the buyers push it right back up. That's what you want to see. And look at the volume came in. Not quite as high as these, but it's higher than those two. Yeah, because don't really have enough time on that five. So gave it good room back down there to that pivot. So that's good. It's getting it below that candle. So everything is good there. I like it off the two and I like it off nice the five. Nice bottom and tail. Get over this area. It's got room to get back up to at least 46. And look where my target is at. Just below. That candle's about to close on the five. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get in 16 seconds after that five minute closes. So that's good. Boom, triggered in. That's why that ladder is nice. And now it just needs to go. It just needs to go. Let's see, we ain't even worrying about that first area. It's like an island, it's just out there by itself. Go ahead and scroll this through. Boom, look at it. Boom, off to the races it's going. So now once it's broke that, I start chasing it. All right, we come back, look at Sands. I'm gonna keep scrolling through so we get, get on through this thing. But look at Sands, man. Sands was just strong as can be. And then on this one, I end up, I had my stop right below that line. And I was like, let's, let's give this thing some room that it needs. Yeah, this gave, this gave a couple of opportunities to get in. It finally sells off. That's why it's important to get that first good entry. And there go CGNX. This was one again. I thought about moving my target, but knowing that this only had room up to maybe that little pivot right above where my target is at. So now I am going to tell you why I'm doing this. Because I am trying to make back the money I lost on S Black. Instead of letting the trade just work, I'm trying to lock, get in. Regardless to what I'm talking about on there, talking about that spreadiness. <laughs> I was trying to lock in what I lost on that other trade. Instead of knowing that this is a good trade and letting it work. Luckily, it was a good trade and it worked. And look at it. Boom. Right on up. See, look, I got my hand on the target and I'm like, nope, get off of there. Boom. Target. Perfect 2R trade. 
Man, I'm going to scroll this on up. We don't take another trade for almost 30 minutes. I should have been done right then. Just keep scrolling it. Nothing really presented itself. We see um, CNGX popped up a little higher than target, pulled back, tried to come back and reclaim, and now it's just fighting. Actually, I think I had, I might have stopped. Yeah, I did. I had stopped the video, and then I took that last trade. So um, that's it. Let's go ahead and wrap that one up. All right, we're going to kill it. Yeah, we had stopped it, and then we took that last trade. So that was the morning. That was the morning. And always, I appreciate y'all checking me out over here. If you made it this far, if you have not already hit that like button, please do so. Please get down there in the comments. Let's continue the conversation there. And if you are not subscribed, please think about subscribing. I try to get these done every day. Uh, with life, sometimes it makes it a little difficult. But um, first and foremost, I like to do this because I go back and I watch these. Um, and I can learn from them. I can learn from them. And if you are... An experienced trader maybe you see something that might help me and you can get in the comment section or if you're a new trader and it's something that I might be doing that you may be able to benefit from maybe you're not marking your charts on key to key levels um, that is like one of the most important things you could do in the morning on your pre-market routine is to mark those areas because the charts respect it the charts respect it and you can go back to almost the beginning of the stock market and look at charts and even before there were computers like we have right now these stocks were respecting pullback areas they were respecting breakouts you can find three bar plays on these charts it's amazing so it's important to mark those charts up but not to prolong this video we write at our 30 minute limit so I'm gonna go ahead cut this one I am not sure if I'm gonna be trading tomorrow I am not sure um, right now I have a tea time and I'm fighting do I want to go play golf or do I want to trade do I want to trade or do I want to play golf and then I'm gonna be traveling tomorrow I got plans to travel so look to see me traveling tomorrow look to see me at the airport somewhere i'm not sure where i'm going yet so be sure to tune in for that uh, will it be across the pond will it be to the motherland of africa will it be down to south america i'm not sure tune in or it might just be to vegas i don't know we'll see but on that note i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and we will be back at it again tomorrow Maybe. Peace.